Well, this is rather exciting today. Yes. Hello. It's my first time at NEP. I'm the lovely Julia. And, and you're I'm the, the lovely Richard. Yes, <laughs> you're the bald explorer. And this down here must be Mr. Suggett. He's the young explorer. Oh no, it's <laughs> Joe. We are at NEP. Um, I was going to try and make a, a silly joke, like I would have never believed that. Oh, you've never <laughs> believed it. We were going to go out for a simple walk just on a footpath around NEP. And as we came in, we noticed there was a sign saying... Free, no. Yeah, ca um, temporary car park. Temporary. And uh, the NEP had, uh, the, the, the NEP, they'd <laughs> opened the gates because apparently it's very busy because apparently Springwatch have advertised, that's a television programme, have advertised, for those people overseas who don't watch it, have advertised that the storks are here and cameras are filming the storks and so people by their billions have come. Anyway, we've got a map, we're just going to have a look round. Yeah. Where are we going to go then, lovely Julie? Well, we're going to go up and have a little look-ski at the, uh, the, the coffee shop. You mean to say we've come all this way uh, into the rewilding park that is NEP <laughs> and we're going to have a look at the coffee shop. Well, I'm interested in the coffee shop, but I just want to have a good old look ski round. Yeah, we want to see some animals. Yeah. They've got lions and tires and but bears, oh my. <laughs> but I'm not holding any hope, just in case. Right. Which way? Straight on? Onwards! We're caught on a tree because the newbie <laughs> got stuck on We're tree. following the yellow sign. We're following the yellow signs. Because? Yeah, we're, um, we're following the yellow signs because um, at the moment they've got this special event going on. So I think in order to keep everybody under control, we're all having to go on a designated path. <laughs> and um, baby's making a noise. Shush! Swine. Um, <clears throat> But the plan is to leave Joe here somewhere in the wild and pick him up in about 17 years. It's my theory. Good job he's not his child, hey? <laughs> I know, I feel the same because we've not really seen anything yet, but we're hoping that we will. It's quite busy, so I imagine any wildlife is going to take cover. Yeah and non-wild, domestic life. Yeah, and pedestrians. I suppose it's, it's because, I mean, I've been into NEP on the public footpaths before and I've made a couple of videos where I've come through and I've accidentally just seen things. I think when you come out deliberately to see things. Yeah, you're not, like, you're not so likely to see things. It's because they're not performing animals, are they? No. And they're not penned in like at a zoo where they have no other choice. Wow, look no. at the slows so on here. If only I drank gin, you could make that slow vodka. Vodka? What? Slow vodka? I don't drink anyway, so... Um, Neither do I, but I know the difference between vodka and gin. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I don't. I can hear a helicopter. Perhaps they've come to get us. Quick, hide in the undergrowth. Joe, Joe won't fit. Leave him, leave him. So we did have Joe walking just now and then he flummoxed on the floor. Didn't catch that on camera, unfortunately. So now he's riding roughshod, but Joe, you excited? <laughs> he was giggling his head off just now. Are you excited, Joe? Oh, talk about not performing. Not performing, I don't know. Are you ex excited? You want to walk? Steady, steady, Joe, Joe. Whoa! What can you do? Never work with children or animals. So... You silly bean. You silly pickle. Let's keep going then. It's quite a, um, a big old space. I don't know actually how big NEP is, but um, they've been rewilding now for several years. It's become a, a whole thing. And I believe the lady who, I forget her name, 
Paula, is it Paula Tree? Somebody Tree um, has written a book about rewilding and they live at Nep and this is what they do. There's storks here. There is some amazing- Breeding storks. Yeah, breeding storks. Not just stuff ones. <laughs> um, what else have they got? They've got some wonderful cattle. Again, don't know the names. Yes, I know, haven't done the research. All right, just came out on an off chance really. But I think really, this is just out for a walk. It's just, it's just fun. Oh, Julia's found a branch. refreshment this is a berry tea look at that lovely color from the little cafe which is behind me little Joe's having a bit of exercise well we did get lost actually um, we we made a wrong turning I think because Joe was on my shoulders and we were sort of laughing about and just having a lovely time and then uh, we suddenly thought where are we actually are we going we haven't seen any of the route markers now I don't know, I think ordinarily you, you know, you can wander around a bit more but I think because it's quite a busy weekend they've set out certain routes so um, anyway we haven't really seen anything um, I think it's more about at the moment just wandering around and seeing what you can see and just enjoying the countryside and getting out Somewhere there is a baby being held upside down, we know that um, an unusual sight if you can find one and also they've got their stalks but um, yet to see the stalks got some? it's too hot for you mm, yeah, he's too busy trying to get stones in his mouth oh nice bit of stone what do you got there you've got some elderflower press elderflower press marvellous well we'll just have these and then we'll mosey on around a bit more Another gate. We've just gone. We've just gone through the barns and the farm area, which I hadn't really seen before. I've not been on any of this. On the bits I've been, I've not been on this bit at all. No. So this is uh, all quite new. Um, there's a campsite going on at the mo moment. A sort of safari campsite, I yeah, imagine. Yeah, looks like they've got yurts or something. Ah. <laughs> I like a yurt for breakfast. <laughs> oh no, yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. I like a yogurt. Hurt. Yogurt. I think for me. I'd come in the week on another occasion. It's very, it's very busy and it does feel very yeah. guided and you're pushed down certain areas. See the campsite, look. the campsite looks nice. It's very, very, I can't really get a close up of it, no. but um, it looks interesting. We've not really seen anything wild in all the time we've been here. Not a thing. Well, I, uh, except I saw one wild bird fly out of a hedgerow. Oh yeah, blackbird. Back in. Oh no, yeah. and the blackbird. Oh, and the blackbird. So, yes, yeah, score of two wild things. <coughs> well, I suppose there were a load of crows or rooks or. Yeah, but nothing that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Not yet. No, I think probably best to go on a very quiet day. You'll probably, you know, the wild stuff is hiding. Yeah. Who knows? If you're from Nep and you've seen this and you think, well, this isn't a very good representation of our place, get in touch. Give me a guided tour. I'd love to do that. Somebody was up at the crack of dawn to go filming with Dump Man. Yeah. I wonder who that was. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's your game? I was having a trouble. <laughs> Here's this. We went, we started there and up there. We did start going off that way, but then we got off track. We decided to come back because the purple track is too long. We've come around here and we are now about here somewhere. This is the, uh, what do they call them? The tree platform. Yeah. But yes, you've, yes. you've got a better name for them. What's the name that you've got, Julia? Observant tree. Yeah, observant tree. Ow. I've just cracked my skull on the, on the branch. Oh, God. Um, 
This is what he thinks of you, smashing you, your head. You're laughing at me because it's <laughs> right on there, just as I came through, and I've got no hair to protect me. Bonked your bonk, something yes, good. Bonked it. God, it's a tree damaged. Oh. That was a bit of fun. No. Take care and we'll see you next time.